Certina DS1, 100 meters war resistance. Certina DS2, 200 meters war resistance. Certina DS7, 100 meters war resistance. Today we are looking at an integrated bracelet concept offered by the bronze with a pretty popular color, a turquoise stone, also known as the Tiffany blue color. During 2022 and 2023, this turquoise tone was pretty much a color which attracted the attention of the enthusiasts, which created actually a market for candy colored tones on wristwatches. So I did cover quite a lot of integrated concepts across the year, including the Tiffany turquoise tone as well, and I think it is worth making a summarized episode about this topic, buffering. Certina launched the DS7 Sports line recently. It is offered in different color versions in stainless steel, titanium, but also on a chronograph layout with a press drive quartz movements. Offering a version with a strap instead of the bracelet, which looks very appealing to me. This is a new design from the brand, but not entirely new, because Certina did offer back in the quartz era a lot of exciting integrated bracelet designs, so there is a base to inspire from if needed. Before we go into details, I want to thank Certina once again for sending the DS7 and the PH-1000M. I think Certina released a lot of exciting watches recently and people are more and more enthusiastic for the brands. I always receive good feedback and constructive opinions when I review Certinas. And I'm honestly glad I can facilitate the brand's creations to the watch enthusiasts. Despite the inevitable comparison with the PRX, which not only comes from the same group but also features the same movement and plays in the same segment, the design is different enough to avoid confusion. Normally the integrated bracelet designs are based on a cushion or a tonneau type of a case to obtain a base and continuity for the bracelet. But in the DS7 case the design starts from a rounded volume which is continued towards the bracelet through discrete ends of the lugs. And I'm looking forward to see if Certina will launch other types of straps, rubbers or leather for this design because the bracelet is detachable. Now, as designed, the DS7, although it is integrated with the bracelet, has the identity built around the dial. The watch case being integrated into a circle, where the PRX more into a square. And it's pure arbitrary, for instance, Certina offers what Tissot couldn't offer. Precisely a case which is more tailored around the dial, with lesser metal in the exterior. A lot of people were complaining about the PRX as being a bit wide at 40mm because was unveiling too much metal around the dial, where in the DS7 context there might be too much dial and lesser case to create a true integrated concept. I'm not sure but I'm looking forward to see your view on this model. So as first impressions it was pretty difficult to get used to the case being too familiar with the PRX imposing one. So I find the DS7 more elegant, which plays around with the space of the wrist, having a rounded imposing volume and a tapered elegant bracelet, where the PRX feels more like a bracelet, including the watch head as well. And then quality wise, this is a very well built watch, with interesting polished elements interlaced on a generic brushed case, which breeds sport and elegance. The case being finished in a manner to be worn in diverse circumstances where the dial feels more elegant and more formal due to its reduced markers in size, the thin hands but also the text proportionally occupied on the dial. The bezel is very complex, it's formed from four facets with the base being polished followed by the main angled facet which is vertically brushed and the front facet being brushed as well. Basically the thin case is sandwiched by the bezel and the back case rings, unveiling a brushed profile with crown guards which are made to protect the non-screwing crown which ensures 100 meters wall resistance. And speaking about the dial, we have a beautiful warm turquoise tone which honestly it reminds me as color and texture of the PRX Quartz Mint with a micro brushing theme which is offered in two states, a flat and an even color, but an elegant sunburst effect as well, where the PRX Mint is highlighted on a vertical pattern. 
So the sunburst in detail adds curiosity and brilliance to the watch, being complemented by the highly polished markers and the hands which are faceted in three layers, the centered one being loomed. So the hands are faceted in the same motif with polished sides and a central brushed facet which hosts loom as well. And loom-wise the watch is respectable being a certina, the hands are more visible than the markers because the loomed areas are pretty thin and I couldn't capture it properly on the tape, but it serves the purpose in low lights conditions. And then we have two silver accents consisting in the Sertina logo on top and the DS label on the bottom, both accompanied by black sub-labels. As specifications, the case measures 39mm in diameter with 46mm as top to bottom, 9.95mm in height and weights 130 grams with the unadjusted bracelet. So an exotic watch with a very thin profile for an automatic movement. The watch has a sapphire crystal, a non-screw down crown side by the DS logo, which ensures 100 meters for resistance. And if we flip the watch, we have a see-through case back which unveils the Powermatic 8611 having a regular escapement, which is fully serviceable with an anti-magnetic Niva Crown hairspring and 80 hours power reserve. The watch is offered between 750 Swiss francs for the turquoise version, where the full gold coated version is priced around 840 Swiss francs. Basically the same range as the Piatex Powermatic 80. The bracelet of the watch starts from 22mm in the exterior, tapering drastically to 17mm, being closed into a butterfly clasp. And as bracelet design it is very interesting because it offers an accordion rhythm, having the same brushed pattern interrupted by intermediary polish links. So the bracelet design is made from narrow links and I find it pretty easy to micro adjust the bracelet on the wrist. As wearability and comfort the watch is thin and lays down on the wrist surface because of the flat case back, the bracelet is comfortable and it fits properly adjusted you won't feel the watch on the wrist. And in my view it illustrates elegance and balance on the wrist, unlike the PRX which demands presence. So these are pretty much my thoughts in regard to the new DS7 Powermatic 80. The same model came up in over 6 color versions and I'm looking forward to see how the brand decides to develop the watch, if there will be rubber or leather options for the case or potentially launch a quartz version. Time will tell. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really curious to know what do you think about this new integrated bracelet DS7 Powermatic 80. Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching, and until next time, be brave and stay safe.